guys welcome back welcome back to my youtube channel so basically in the last video we treated how to get the laplace transform of a function when it is multiplied by the exponential of minus 80 which we call the first shift theory so in the last video we treated when we have the laplace of the exponential minus 80 multiplying a function of t we said that our answer will be a function of s plus a and we proved this using our normal method for Laplace transformation and we call this the first shift theorem. So basically today we are going to be looking at our second theorem. I said there are about three theorems we are going to be considering in Laplace transformation which helps us to make our solvings easier. So today we are going to be looking at the second shift theorem which is multiplying t and t raised to power n. Now when we have a function which is just like we have exponential minus ac but in this case when we have t multiplying the function of t and t raised by n multiplying the function of t how are we going to go about it or how will our answer look like so today that's what we are going to be looking at so now let's proceed now we're considering the theorem 2 which says multiplying t and t n now our theorem says if if the laplace of a function of t We know that Laplace of a function of t will give me a function of s, right? Then the Laplace of t times the function of t will be equal to minus f prime function of s. Now, what is this trying to tell us? Meaning that when we have a function of t, when we have t multiplying that function of t which we are given in our question our answer will be the negative of the first derivative of that function now same goes for t raised to power n now in this case now since we have the power of t here is one right so that means the laplace of t raised to power any order or any number t raised to power four t raised to power five multiplying a function of t will be equal to the negative of the function of m prime time of the function of s meaning that this will be the nth order derivative of that function of s so now let's prove this and prove this or let basically let's prove this then you see how we can solve a particular example then that is that is a very simple theorem actually so now let's go considering our second our second theorem which says if the laplace of function of t is equal to the function of s then Laplace of t times the function of t will, be, will give me a negative of my function of my first derivative of my function of s. So now let's prove this. So if the Laplace of a function of t is equal to the function of s, we all know that Laplace of a function of t is equal to the integral coming from zero to infinity, right? Of exponential minus st function of t dt, right? So if you want to express this also in this form, Laplace of t times the function of t, Laplace of t times the function of t will be equal to the integral coming from 0 to infinity, right? Then of t, right, times exponential minus st function of t, dt, right? So now we're going to be trying. We're going to try to express. We're going to try to get the proof of this that the Laplace of t times the function of t is equal to the negative of the first derivative of the function of s. So now let's prove this. Now, so if I say, take, if I assume that I want to take the derivative of the exponential of minus st. For example, if I say take the derivative of the exponential of minus st with respect to s, right? That means I want to differentiate this exponential of minus st with respect, with respect to s. Just follow me step by step. You understand what I'm trying to do? So if I differentiate this, what am I going to have? That with respect to x, I'm going to have minus t exponential of minus st, right? If I differentiate exponential of minus st with respect to s, not t, with respect to s, I'm going to be having minus t exponential minus st now if i now say okay multiply it through by minus sign if i decide to multiply it through by minus sign this will multiply this and minus sign will also multiply this so my answer is what t exponential minus st 
So we have t exponential t times exponential minus s here, which is this. So I can decide to substitute this for this. You can say this of me writing t exponential minus s t here. Let me substitute this for this. So substituting this for this will be having integral coming from zero to infinity. Now taking out this and putting this will be having negative of d the s exponential minus s t times a function of t dt. Right? So now let's proceed. So continue from here, right? So I can decide to take this d dx back to the back to the integral sign. I can decide to take this at the back of the integ integral sign. So what will I, what, what am I going to have? So I'm going to be having minus d dx, right? Integral coming from zero to infinity, then I'm left with this, right? Of exponential minus s t f t d t. So now, which means that remember I said that uh, basic or standard Laplace expression of a function of c, which is the integral coming from zero to infinity of exponential minus s t f t d t, right? So this is our basic Laplace expression of a, of a function of t. Now we see we are having the same expression here, right? So basically we are going to, and we said this will have eventually give, give us what? A function of s, right? So we see that this same thing here is what we are having here. So we basically we are just going to remove this, substitute this for this, right? So substituting this for this will be having minus d ds. Taking out this and substituting it for this because they are actually the same thing. Or we can also write is, is, so minus d ds times the function of t, which is also equal to minus d with respect to s of what of a function of s, right? So this is actually saying the derivative of d with respect to x of this function of s. So you know we can also also rewrite this as the negative of f prime with respect to s. So this is the proof that. When multiplying t to a function of s, so this is proof that Laplace of t times the function of t is equal to what the negative of the first derivative of the function of s. So now let's take an example, then you understand what I'm trying to do. So the same goes for the Laplace of t raised to the power n. Now depends on the, the the power of the 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 arithmetic power the the power of the of the function t will give would that means the order of derivative we are going to have in our answer. So if we still raise power 2 multiplying the function, so our answer is going to be left with the, the, the second order derivative of the f prime of x. Since the Laplace of t times f t is equal to the negative of function of f prime x, right? You know, this is first order derivative, right? So that means the Laplace of t n of the function of t is going to be the negative of f n times function of the limits and other derivatives. So now let's take an example. Now example says what is the Laplace of t sine 2t? Now before we proceed into solving this to get this right, you know that we need to before we proceed into solving this, we need to note note with what is the function of t when we compare this to this and what is t. So when we compare this to this, Laplace of t times function of t, when we compare this to this, my function of t is sine 2t, right? So now, and we know that we need the answer of the Laplace of, of a function of t to be able to get this. What am I trying to say is that since the Laplace of a function of t is equal to the function of s, right? And the Laplace of t times the function of t is the negative of the first derivative, meaning that when we get the answer of the function of t, all we need to do to get the Laplace of t times function of t is to get the derivative of the function of s. So now let me explain what I'm trying to say. So comparing this to this, since the function of t is sine 2t, so my function of t, which is sine 2t, right? And Laplace of sine 2t is what? Now, we're going to, based on our previous video, 
I have to actually taught how to get the Laplace of a value sine function. So the Laplace of a sine function is 2 divided by s squared plus 4. Right? So now, since we have gotten the Laplace of a function of t, and we also know that the Laplace of a function of t is equal to a function of s, right? And this is the function of s, which is 2 divided by s squared plus 4. So that means the Laplace of t multiplied by this function, which is sine 2t, we said is equal to the negative of the first derivative of the function. So all we need to do is to dif differentiate this, the negative, get the negative different, differential, get, get the negative derivative of this function of s. So when we get the negative derivative of this function of s, automatically we have gotten the Laplace of t sine 2t. That's as simple as that. So the negative derivative of this function of s and the function of s, which is this, right? So this is minus negative derivative of 2 divided by s squared plus 4, right? So now we're going to differentiate it, getting the negative derivative of So getting the negative derivative of this, meaning that we are differentiating it. So differentiating this, using our quotient rule, you can use your quotient rule. So differentiating this, will be having minus, this is v, right? Using quotient rule, v du minus u dv equals v squared, right? So let's assume this is my v and this is my u, right? Yeah, so this is my u and this is my v. So my v, which is sine squared plus 4, the u and if I should differentiate the constant is 0, right? So times 0 minus u, which is 2, times dv, right? u dv. dv meaning differentiating this. So differentiating x squared plus 4, you have 2s, right? Then divided by v squared, which is sine, which is 2 squared plus 4 squared, right? So 0 times this, this eventually gives me 0, right? So minus times minus is plus. So this is 4s. 4s. 4s divided by s squared plus 4 all squared. So this is the answer for the Laplace of t sine to t. It's very, very simple. The first thing you do, I'm going to end elaborate the steps. The first thing you need to, to do is to compare your t and your function of t. When you get your function of t in this, which my function of t which is sine 2t, find the Laplace of my function of t. The answer you get for your function of t, then you differentiate it, multiply it by a minus sign. That's all. So in this case now where you are having, for example, you are saying find the Laplace of t square sine function of t. You know in this case we only differentiated once. Now in this case you are going to be getting the negative derivative now this is going to be a second order negative derivative of my function of s so this is how you solve it if it's lap, if you multiply t raised power 3 sine 2t or any function is going to be the same process so thank you guys for watching and please and please subscribe